Hi, welcome back. In the previous video, I have discussed what is kernel and why do we need kernel in SVM. In this video, I will discuss what are the different type of kernels available in SVM with simple numerical example. The first kernel is linear kernel. The linear kernel is defined with the help of k of x, y is equal to x transpose y here, where x and y are the two vectors or you can say that the two given data points. Now this is equivalent to the dot product between the mapping function. For example, if we say that phi is a mapping function, phi of x dot phi of y is equal to x transpose dot y in this case. Coming back to the second type of kernel known as a polynomial kernel, which is defined with the help of this equation k x y is equal to x transpose y raised to q here. This is also called as homogeneous kernel. In this case, uh, q is known as the degree of uh, polynomial. If the value of q is equal to 2, then it is called as the quadratic kernel. If we add one constant to this particular uh, polynomial kernel, it will become inhomogeneous kernel. That is, uh, k x y is equal to c plus x transpose y raised to q. Here c is a constant and q is the degree of polynomial again. Now if the value of c is equal to 0, it will become uh, x transpose y raised to q that is nothing but uh, the homogeneous kernel. If the value of c is equal to 0 and q is equal to 1, then it will become x transpose y that is nothing but the linear kernel in this case. The value of uh, this particular q that is a degree q should be optimal if you select the value of q should of high, then there is a possibility of overfitting. The overfitting means uh, the, the classifier works perfectly fine on the training data but fails to work on testing data. So we need to select the value of Q of uh, optimal in nature. If you select more, then there is a possibility of overfitting in this case. We will take one simple example to understand uh, these three kernels. Let us say that x is equal to 1, 2 and y is equal to 2, 3 are the two data points with uh, c is equal to 1. Now we will try to apply linear, homogeneous and inhomogeneous kernels over here. The kernel is given as k x y is equal to x transpose y raised to q. If the value of q is equal to 1, then it is called as the linear kernel and then we will put the values of x and y over here. So x is 1, 2, transpose 2, 3. So now we need to take the transpose of 1, 2 that will, uh, this column will become a row here. So and then we need to take the dot product that is 1, 2, dot 2, 3. If you perform that particular thing, 1 into 2 plus uh, 2 into 3 that is uh, 6, uh, 6 plus 2 is equal to 8 over here. So the value of uh, linear kernel is 8 for these two data points in this case. If the value of uh, q is equal to 2, then this is already calculated which is equal to 8, 8 raised to 2 which is equal to 64 for uh, homogeneous kernel the value of this particular data point will become 64 over here. Uh, homogeneous or you can say that the quadratic kernel in this case because the value of q we have selected as 2 in this particular case. Now I will consider the inhomogeneous kernel where we will come across one more uh, very constant that is c. c plus x transpose y raised to q here. So c is 1. We have already calculated this one that is 8. 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. 9 square is equal to 81 in this case. So, 81 is the value of these two data points in uh, inhomogeneous kernel over here. Coming back to the next type of kernel that is known as Gaussian kernel. The Gaussian kernel is also known as radial basis function or RBFs. They are extremely useful in SVM because uh, they perform very well on the given data set. So, compared to other kernels, these uh, the performance of these kernel that is uh, the Gaussian kernel is uh, very high. That is the reason they are extremely used in SVM classifier over here. The RBF function is uh, given something like this k x y is equal to e raised to minus x minus y bracket square divided by 2 delta square. Here uh, x and y are the data points and delta is the uh, constant over here. Now the value of y is very important in this particular case. If the value of y is very small, this will become a linear SVM. That is uh, the data point will be separated with the help of a straight line. If we select uh, y a large value, then we need to have more number of support vectors so that we can separate that particular uh, uh, data into two classes over here. The RBA performs uh, dot product in R infinity space. Uh, because of this, they are highly effective as well as uh, they are performance intensive. Uh, that is the reason they are used extremely in the SVM classifier over here. 
now we will consider one simple example to understand the gaussian uh, kernel the first data point given to us is uh, 1 2 and second one is 2 3 delta in this case is 1 over here now we will try to apply rbf and then we will try to get the value of this particular uh, rbf value for these two uh, data points over here we already know how the rbf uh, kernel looks like in this case we need to calculate this x minus y bracket square so first we will try to calculate that the first time x is 2 1 and y is 2 second time x is 2 and y is equal to 3 over here so 1 minus 2 bracket square and 2 minus 3 bracket square which is equal to 2 over here so this particular term that is x minus y bracket square is equal to 2 so e raised to minus 2 divided by 2 into delta square that is nothing but 1 square that is nothing but minus 2 divided by 2 over here which is equal to e raised to minus 1 if you solve this you will get 0.3679 in this case so the value of rbf kernel is 0.3679 for these two data points with the delta is equal to 1 in this particular case the last type of kernel is the sigmoid kernel which is given by kxi yi is equal to tan h kxi yj minus uh, delta in this case so in this case uh, we apply tan function on the given uh, uh, data points and then we will get the value over here so in this uh, video i have discussed what are the different type of uh, kernels available in a support vector machine i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching